Hello, my name is TJ Martin. I'm with Avid. I work in uh, sales for Avid, and I'm here at Full Compass Systems today to talk to you about Pro Tools HD Native. Uh, most importantly, as far as new news from Avid, would be the HD Thunderbolt. The Thunderbolt itself, we uh, call it an interface. What you've got hiding in there is a lot of horsepower underneath this chassis to allow you to run a full HD system setup. Uh, but most importantly, now you're able to be mobile. Before, when we released uh, HD Native, we did it with PCIe card, and that meant that you were in a desktop, uh, and some folks did buy expansion chassis, but this allows you to be completely portable with uh, HD Native, uh, insofar as you're able to take a, a laptop now, the Thunderbolt device, which is really, again, the horsepower for all your audio needs, and then you do need a simple HD I.O. as well. Um, now, some folks are able to do up to 64 in and out. I'm a musician, so I wouldn't know what to do with 64 ins and outs. Um, but this is probably your most simple setup to be able to run HD uh, native uh, external. What you have here is a, a Thunderbolt connection that runs to a MacBook Pro or any qualified computer. Again, check with avid.com to find out if your computer is qualified. And then you have our uh, mini DigiLink cable, a new DigiLink cable that we offer with our HDIOs. That's connected to the Omni I.O. The Omni I.O. is sort of what we call the Swiss Army knife of interfaces, but we still make our 16 by 16 analog, our 8 by 8 by 8. You can get digital only. We still offer all of those solutions. The Thunderbolt just gives you a great way of being portable, as I said, and being mobile. Um, and this is important, too, especially for um, folks that I speak with that are doing live recordings. Uh, the front of house guy might just have a, a laptop handy, might be controlling lights or something with the mix system, and at the same time then they can run Thunderbolt to the Thunderbolt chassis here and to their uh, interfaces, and a lot of folks are getting up to 64 in and out uh, with just this little box here. The thing I like about uh, HD native in general is there is a ton of power now inside of these i7 processors or even folks that have um, big multi-core computers, desktops, uh, you've got so much power inside of that computer already that really what happens is now you want low latency, you want a great interface, and you want to take the burden of actually doing all the audio mixing and processing off your computer. Because that's probably the biggest challenge outside of plugins is asking your computer to run an operating system, to run the software, and to also do the audio mixing and do plugins in real time. When you're using HD Native, you've got a PCIe card or the new Thunderbolt chassis here with a card inside of it. That's doing all of the horsepower. That's doing all of the processing for your computer in terms of audio. So all that mixing gets very complex when you talk in terms of throwing in an aux, doing sends, sending 50% of a signal over here. The rest of that signal goes to the master left, right out. Then you start doing uh, busing in terms of putting groups together, all the drums together. All of that creates a lot of mathematic problems for your computer and for the CPU. And that's exactly what the PCIe HD Native card or the HD Native Thunderbolt card can take away from your computer. So that, in a nutshell, is sort of the HD Native concept, uh, the new Thunderbolt interface itself. Uh, and my name, again, is TJ Martin with Avid, and I'm happy to be here at Full Compass. If you have more questions about HD Native, Pro Tools in general, uh, please contact your Full Compass rep or check out fullcompass.com.